I'm a conservative. I am against the liberal views. I have a lot of contempt for the people in, in red America, but I'll tell you why, because they don't study history. You. Cindy Sheehan, you don't speak for us. Go home, Cindy. Go home, Cindy. Go home. America is a nation divided. Whose choice? America. Whose choice? On issue, after issue, after issue. Hillary and I are finally going to be able to get married and protect our family. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the fire of God's love, not a demonic lust. Defend your rights! Defend your rights! Defend your rights! I'm just astounded by the hatred, and I'm like ashamed to be an American by all the things that I've seen. You can see it, hear it, and feel it from the streets of the smallest town to the halls of Congress. Cowards cut and run, Marines never do. The Republicans have stooped to a new low. This resolution is about an attack on those Islamo fascists or terrorists who would destroy the, the gentleman will suspend. Oh. This is the state of our union. Hello, everyone. I'm George Stephanopoulos, and our program tonight is a warning. Take those debates we just saw. Members of Congress may not come to the floor armed with pistols, like they did in the days leading up to the Civil War, but their words are as toxic as any time since then. And we are, in many ways, a more divided nation than any time since then. As we found in the course of reporting this hour, a lot new is happening here. And what's worse, the polarization is feeding on itself. It's not just the politicians or the media. It's all of us, and it's alarming. 